pleasure to be here this morning. Lisa, well done. Let's get another huge, huge round of applause. As you're evaluating today, I uh, double checked with you for a couple things that you wanted me to go over. And what I plan to do today is give you some real good feedback on how you started off, cover those specific things that you asked about, and then go into some really positive things that I personally saw and give you a couple things to, to work on for your next speech. Um, when I emailed you at the very last minute last night as I was leaving the office, you asked me to look for nervous energy, and you you didn't appear to have any nervous energy to me whatsoever. You were very poised at the lectern. I, it was very visible that you've made many presentations. And as you went through your speech and revealed that, I, uh, I, it explained a lot to me. You were very poised, and you did a really good job of kind of letting us into your brain to say on how you operate, that you're more of an introspective person, more analytical than outgoing. And it showed through in a positive way in your speech. It seemed very well prepared. Uh, prepared. I, didn't, I didn't think you were nervous at all. For vocal variety, you did accomplish it. And to, as your style comes out more, I think that you'll use more vocal variety. I'd like to have seen a little more. Maybe as you were telling the story of your dream that you had as a child, maybe slow things down and say, but there was no voice. I could, you know, slow a little bit, but overall, great vocal variety, I would say, Lisa. As far as too rehearsed, I don't think it was too rehearsed at all. It was clear to me that you were very well prepared, but you didn't seem stiff. You didn't seem as if you were reading off of a script or anything like that. It was, it was, it was perfect as far as rehearsal uh, looked to me. I wanted to add that there was a very, very clear flow. When you came up, I thought, um, and I almost forgot this point. You, I was impressed you had the correct etiquette. I know it's in the manual, this is how you start off your speech, but way to go with that. You know, it's a very technical thing to come up, Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and you hit it right on the spot. So well done there for your first speech. Uh, the flow was great. I thought that your introduction really drew us in, and then you were able to flow through kind of as your journey as a young professional, getting involved in more public speaking, and, and now to the point in your life where you are now where you really just want to tackle that mountain. You want to tackle that mountain that you've fought against your whole life, and I think you've started off the fight very, very well. Great I speak for speech. Um, one big thing that I work on in my speeches that I think I need to be better at is you shared pain. You came up and, and you shared the pain and the fear that you had throughout your journey of public speaking, the fear that you had as you were here at the lectern, um, another great thing that I loved, and I know everyone can relate, is you had an analogy that we all related to in table topics. That was key. At that point, you really drew me in, and I, I believe that you probably drew everybody in at that point, to really say, okay, now she's got my attention. What are we talking about? Overall, it was amazing. Thank you.